channel what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome my name is liz nice to meet you if you're not new thank you so much for joining me again like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications on for future videos period and we're gonna jump right into today's video so today continuing on in our decade series this week we're doing the 50s and the 60s so i'm gonna be reacting to otis redding otis redding was like my dad's probably favorite artist but i'm gonna be reacting to cigarettes and coffee by otis redding i don't believe i've heard this song before it's be a first time reaction and um yeah yeah my dad loved otis redding he had a cassette tape from the songs that i remember i believe there was a song called mr pitiful there was dreams to remember there was um <laughs> i've been loving you too long which i believe i reacted to but um, yeah, I just wanted to react to one that I haven't heard before, so this is it. So yeah, um, without any further ado, let's get it. It's early in the morning, about a quarter to three. Talking with my baby over cigarettes and coffee, and to tell you that, dog, I've been so satisfied, honey, since I've met you, baby, since I've met you. I've been around and all the good looking girls I've met they just don't seem to fit in knowing this particular sad yeah. but it seems so natural darling that you and I are Talking over cigarettes and drinking coffee
how the musical art of yearning and simplicity and simplicity and yearning is dead. They need to bring it back. They need to bring it back because he's just going in about the simplicity. Hear me. The simplicity of just smoking a cigarette and drinking some coffee with his girl and talking about life and talking about his appreciation for their relationship and how nobody else can measure up. And it's just simply over some cigarettes and coffee at quarter three in the morning. My dad used to smoke cigarettes and drink coffee, to be honest. Like, if we, <laughs> I like the song. I love the Otis Redding had this. And I mentioned this in a recent um, reaction video. I think it was with Etta James. How, like, a lot of these songs, but specifically with Otis Redding songs, there was a specific guitar strum that they did in most of his songs. It's like a signature. Like, every time I hear it, I'm like, that's the Otis Redding song. I give this a 10 out of 10 because, like I said, it's, it's simplicity. It's appreciation. There's a story in a song. You know, the only thing I wish was that he wasn't talking about smoking cigarettes. But, you know, see, each their own. See, each their own. Like, you know, whatever floats your boat. I get this a 10 out of 10. Um, people don't yearn in their music anymore. They need to start yearning. They need to start, like, crying and, like, you know, like I said, like, reaching out for the rain. Reaching out for the, for the air. Like, pulling back and, like, almost crying in the booth while you singing. You know, like how he's like, you know, I have you and you have me and we have each other as the music is fading out is crazy. It's like, I'm, I know the song is over, but I have to get this message out of me. That type of singing needs to be brought back. That's just my opinion. So as a Brian McLeish's kiss. Um, yeah, shout outs to my dad. Shout outs to my dad. Um, he loved him some Otis Redding. Um, at first, when I was a kid, I'm not going to lie. When he was putting up cassette tapes, I'm like, here we go again. Here we go again sad Otis Redding <laughs> like growing up the more I, like the older I've become I'm like the fact that he passed away so young Otis Redding the fact that Otis Redding passed away so young and like the musical genius that he was and the vocal presence that he brought to this world and the influence that he had and the influence that he left crazy shout out to Otis Redding shout out to my dad and um yeah I'm very I'm very grateful when it comes to music because music has helped me so much as I'm sure it's helped many of y'all if y'all have stories if y'all ever have stories like associated with songs please leave them in the comments because I love reading y'all stories and like reading certain things about your lives I just find it interesting I'm not trying to get your business I just find it interesting because we all have stories that are associated with certain songs certain music certain moments in time beautiful for all of us to share and that is what we are all here for to share to collaborate to immerse ourselves with each other because we are one anyway so um yeah 10 out of 10 fire back on chef's kiss hope y'all enjoyed this song hope y'all enjoyed this reaction if you did like comment and subscribe if you didn't i'll know what to tell you and um yeah i'm out